Alright everyone, our challenge in this project is to play with some of the variables that we mentioned in the last project, like the blade size, the blade shape, how many blades, and more. Our goal is to attach this little cup to the back end of the dowel and find a wind source, such as a fan or a hair dryer, and blow it at our turbine. As it slowly starts to turn it, we want the string in the back to be coiled up, and that cup will be filled with weight. We want to see how heavy we can have that cup and have our turbine still spinning and powering it. What we want to do first is take our skewer and stab it through the cup, which gives us something to tie a piece of string onto. Go ahead and cut off any excess wood with a pair of scissors, and if you know another way to attach some string, by all means try it. We do it this way so the cup can remain relatively straight as we lift it off the ground, and just a basic knot around the dowel will work. Same thing goes for the dowel that connects all the turbine blades. Just a simple knot will work, and feel free to put some hot glue so it doesn't go anywhere. Remember how we said to find something that simulates wind? Well here it sticks, we're going to use this hair dryer to aim at our turbine and get those blades spinning. In this first run, the blades don't spin at all because they're not angled like any of the other wind turbines that you've seen in the examples. Instead of the wind hitting the blades and incentivizing them to spin by creating pressure pockets, the wind actually hits those flat blades and completely stops its flow. But check this out, once we add just the slightest angle to those blades and make sure they're all in the same direction, the wind flows off them just like they're designed to and they start spinning pretty fast. Remember our challenge is to see how much weight our turbine can pick up because that will translate to how much power it can produce. We're going to use nickels and we'll start with four. Got it pretty easily, but how about eight? The turbine struggled a little bit more, but was still able to get them up. Friends, please play around with some of the different variables in your design and see how you can improve it by lifting more weight or lifting it a further distance by changing some of the different parts of your design. There are infinite ways to go about making it your own. Well, thanks so much for your time, friends. We hope you're excited to get building and help power Sticksville in a responsible way with these wind turbines. Be sure to check out the next video where you're going to get a chance to hear from a professional in the renewable energy field.